Good morning. Or should I say, Mabuhai. Just got off a 16 hour flight. The last time I came to the Philippines was about, I think seven years ago. I was blonde, so it was a long time ago. But we are here again today because Brian is moving here temporarily for the summer to be a part of a show. He is a judge. I I actually don't really know what he is, but we're gonna find out today. Um, and Brian's actually already on set. He's been on set since 5 a.m. and he's shooting till 8 p.m. So I am going to maybe take a nap. I'm very tired. I feel great though after showering, washing my hair, brushing my teeth. I feel really good. Day one in the Philippines. Full day one. I like that I arrived early, so we have a full day. I feel like this is actually a really bad thing to wear. <laughs> oh, I wish I had shorts. From one block outfit to another. <laughs> I don't, what am I doing? Uh, I don't know what to wear. Remember how I can't seem to find any shorts? I don't own a pair of shorts. This is what I'm wearing, which I feel like might not be smart in the Philippines because I will just attract heat. But I basically only brought black or my like slacks because I, I just like, I have nothing to wear. This is the view. We are, are we are, Brian is staying in um, an area called uh, Makati. So this is the area. And then the bedroom and such is up there. Yeah, that's it. I'm just waiting to get picked up to head to set. So uh, yeah, it should be pretty exciting. Do we want to find a nice place to eat tonight? Whoa! Scary! <laughs> jet lagged right now but we have to pack up because tomorrow we're going to Barakai which um, Brian has been wanting to take me for years so fortunately a lot of the things that we thought Brian would have to do today for like a press like press jackets for his show actually were pushed back to after I leave so we have three days free so we're gonna leave for Barakai tomorrow we have one full day there on 
Thursday and then we come back on Friday and then I leave for uh, LA on Saturday. So apparently it's one of the most beautiful beaches in the world too. So, you know, I love me a good beach. We're starving, so we're gonna go eat while we have the cart here, but oh my god. Wow. Oh, it feels so good. Look at our view, look what we just walked into. Oh, oh so pretty. Look at how beautiful that water is, oh my gosh. I don't even think Hawaii water is this clear, by the way. Oh my god, that feels so good. <laughs> ah, get in the middle. Get in the middle. No, stand straight. Stand straight. Yeah, like that. But maybe scoop. Is that centered? That's not. You're not really centered. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. More. <laughs> Honey, you're going towards the beach. Honey, no, no, no. Put your put your left hand above. Yeah. Oh my God. You know, we all It's the first time here. Um, no, it's his first time paddleboarding. Yeah. Literally, I was on my phone for like five seconds. <laughs> this fool. We will just swim. <laughs> I haven't gone kayaking in a long time. This will be nice. Zero waves whatsoever. Right now we're kayaking in Boracay. Why this is important? This is important because we're gonna go on an amazing race one day. We actually won't because we we won't be able to travel well. But <laughs> we do think that we're we too can, bougie. <laughs> yeah, we, are, we do have confidence that we would beat everyone in a physical competition. So we're practicing yeah. our kayaking. We're doing pretty well right now. All right, okay. let me start recording. being annoying hello my babies okay gosh it is 1 30 a.m <laughs> so brian's show is on this you can i guess you can watch it on this app called kumu they're doing their first like mall tour thing brian's performing but and then he's being announced as a judge that was fun it was short but barakai was 
I, I don't think Brian and I have ever been to a more beautiful place before. So we did notice that when we left on Friday, it was getting very, very, very busy. A lot of people were arriving. So we were glad that we were there when we did because it was very, it still was busy, but it wasn't like super crowded. So that was lovely. But I did want to share a couple products and thoughts that I had while on this trip. So this is the Paravel like duffel. I had to bring Brian some stuff um, just because he forgot it. So I had to check in my carry on, which I hate doing. But I was able to obviously bring on another bag. And this is a duffel that folds. So I was able to take this on the plane with me, check in my luggage. And then on my way back, since my luggage was more empty, I was able to fold it and just put it in my duffel. So. I've actually had this for a really long time. I've just never really used it like this. So I was really glad that I had this. Hold on, let me zip this up. Oh yeah, so compact. So this was really helpful. And then this jumper from um, Mari and Eve. I've had this for years and I was actually planning to sell it because I just, I don't know why, but this came in clutch as well because it's linen, but it's also a jumper. Because let me tell you, there were times that my vagine was sweating. It was so effing humid <laughs> in the Philippines, but this was really nice. I'm glad that I liked it and the linen is really nice as well. So I may keep it. This trip made me change my mind about this jumper. This product from Detox Mode, again, something that I've had for a long time, but since I always keep it in my um, travel bag, because I like sometimes forget I have it, but this is the Here and There Balm, and it it is so awesome. I'm almost done with it, but this came in clutch on the airplane when I was like washing my hands all the time. My hands were getting dry, but this just makes your body feel like so smooth. But I also wanted to share a few, cho a few thoughts, because when we were in Baraka, I I was watching these huge ants like just go about their business and then it made me think about like the ecosystem and how everything like all the insects and all the animals can live in harmony without us and they can survive without humans but we as humans cannot survive without them. I don't know why that like got me thinking about that but that started to bother me because it's like we're also destroying the world and the ecosystem. And even though we need them and we need the ecosystem. Anyways, that that kind of like got me into like this whole little thing on um, Barakai. But I realized as I was like boarding my plane today, is like this was my first international trip in two years since COVID. And it was really good. I think it might have like reignited my passion for travel again because... When I was in college, I traveled all the time. You know, my parents are flight attendants, so I could just like travel literally wherever I wanted for free and it was really easy for me. But then, you know, I started working <laughs> and um, got the dogs and, you know, moved out on my own and it just was, I don't know, more exhausting than it was fun. But I also think I realized that because when I used to travel outside of like New York, which I love New York, I would always stay in the city and it would always be hustle and bustle. But I think I, I realize now as I get older is I appreciate kind of the calmness of like the countryside or the beach side. So when I travel, I was already telling Brian this. Um, when we start traveling again, I really wanna just spend like two days in the city and then you know go to the countryside or go someplace else kind of like how we did this trip we stayed we were in manila for like two days and then we spent two days on the beach so that i really loved um but it made me realize because like for the philippines i had to show proof of vax if i wasn't vaccinated um then i would have to show negative test um i we always had to wear a mask kind of like how it was in america last year and even just like not even not even to get into the like the island um but even the hotel when we stayed at the hilton we had to show proof of vaccination and it just made me realize that the people who you know 
probably need to travel and need to experience other cultures and meet other people, other types of people, are the people in America who don't want to wear a mask or want to get vaccinated. And those are the people really that would benefit from international travel. So I don't know. I did a lot of thinking and I think it's because I like didn't really work. I kind of worked, but I didn't really work. So I had a lot of free time in my head to, you know, just think, which is really nice. But yeah, <clears throat> I think Brian is up soon. So hopefully by then I'll be tired and be able to fall asleep after. But my, if I'm going to be up until 5 a.m., it is going to be a rough night. Okay, wish me luck. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope you all have some fun travel plans coming up for the summer. I feel like everyone's leaving, especially the, the past couple weeks. So I hope we all um, can get out if you haven't already. But yeah, that's it. Keep my fingers, keep your fingers crossed for me that I can go to sleep soon. Anyways, see you next video. Bye.